calling you a radical. So, Chernobyl. It's the day, it was the 25th here. Just barely the 26th there, shortly after midnight. One partial core, new reactor. It was only, there was no spent fuel there because it was new. There were four reactors there, but the one blew up. So it blew up on the 25th. Partial core. They come and knocked on people's doors. Annika, who I was with for all those years. Born and raised Ukraine. So they knocked on the door that night. Her two brothers, let's go. You got 30 minutes. It's scripted. Hundreds of thousands of men entombed Chernobyl. Let's talk about step up with honor. Talk about pay the price. They always do in Ukraine, don't they? They always do. They always pay the price. I zoomed in on one of these Canadians recently and it had a Russian tag on its ankle from the peninsula. Oh look, they're landing on the top of the administration building. They've had to adapt. Everybody's had to adapt post the bomb. So 700,000 men entombed it. Yet the whole world's going to tell you that it's the worst nuclear disaster in history. When Fukushima, nobody entombed it. They covered it up. Fukushima was three, most likely four, full cold that meltdowns with six spent fuel pools, seven count in the common spent fuel pool, blew to smithereens. It took Kevin Blanche a year and a half to convince anybody it was one meltdown. But the sheep believe. They believe. They go along. Everybody's too weak, and then they're just going to chalk up the great Pacific genocide that collapsed the Pacific Ocean. It's all coincidence. And their answer is to attack Kevin Blanche. To go after Kevin Blanche at all costs. Why is he in critical condition, by the way? 